the National Mathematical Games competition in uh, Portugal with George Silva, who is uh, kind of the founding director. George, this is a fantastic turnout, isn't it? It's a fantastic turnout. We have close to 2,000 kids playing today here, the final of the National Championship of Mathematical Games. Uh, each kid plays only one of 12 tournaments, and so they have to play in schools to decide who the school brings to the finals. So we are talking uh, at a participation in, in the whole country, about 100,000 kids playing abstract board games. And uh, what, what games are these, these abstract board games? They're played on a grid with uh, counters. Yes, they are all uh, a little bit akin to chess or drafts or go. They are abstract mathematical games. They are games without any luck factor or hidden information. They are purely intellectual, so they are also known as strategy games. And uh, it has been shown that uh, the practice of these games is very similar to the mathematical practice of problem solving. And the, these games are very popular with children. This is uh, amazing that children are so interested in mathematical games. It's the games, they have the appeal of a board game and they have the content of pure abstract mathematical thought. So it's a win-win situation. And we have here uh, many hundreds of students, some of which are not the best students in their classes. Uh, but they are better players, so it also works very well on the self-esteem of, of students that can do better, and some just start doing better after they beat the best students at the board game, depending only on their skills and intellect. And there's uh, a good balance of uh, boys and girls at the event. Yes, we have boys and girls, and we have also um, games adapted to the blind and also to the deaf and we have people from all the country and also C Cape Verde so Açores, Madeira, the island so we have uh, a fantastic public the teachers in many many schools they support this event they give their work voluntarily and uh, voluntarily and it's a fantastic uh, feast of mathematical thought that we have here today. And I, I noticed that uh, there's no clocks involved and no special equipment. It must be quite cheap to organize one of these. Well, it, the organization takes, um, I don't know how much it costs, maybe a few tens of thousands of euros, but we have a few sponsors and one of them is the Ministry of Science and also some private sponsors. And uh, could you just say how long has this been going on for this, this event now? This is the 14th edition. The first one was in 2004 in Lisbon. We have been going, uh, organizing this in several places in the country. And uh, as I said, this is the 14th. It's quite an achievement. Is there anything else like this in the world that you're aware of? I don't think so. It's a big a big organization. I think we were lucky because we have people that understand a little bit about mathematics, people that understand about abstract games, and also people that understand about how to organize a tournament, because we have several people that are used to big chess tournaments. How does this compare to a chess tournament? Well, this, the, the thing here is that we have 12 tournaments happening at the same time depending on the game and on the age of the, of the player. But in all other respects, it's exactly the same thing. It's very intellectual uh, activity and the, the, the kids play with all their strength and all their focus. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, John.